What is up YouTube? It is Doc here, Doc Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another Godfall video for you all today. Now in this video, we are going to be doing some weapon breakdowns on the five different weapon classes in the game, starting with one that I think a lot of people have been asking for, and for some reason the devs have been real hush-hush on, they just don't want to talk about this weapon class, but luckily we just got a bunch of brand new footage on it, so we're definitely going to talk about it, and it pretty much gives us all the information we need to see with the amount of footage that we got for it so i actually really can't wait to get into the great swords so before we get straight into the great swords there are some other things i do want to cover first like the five different weapon classes in total which are the long swords you have your dual blades your war hammers and pole arms and then there's also going to be some things that i'm not going to necessarily cover in this video because they more focus on the combat elements of the game rather than the specific weapon like polarity attacks breach soul shatter weak points you also have your shields which the devs did confirm is available on all weapons uh which will be interesting when i speak about some of the abilities with the great sword and then you have your of course blocking your parrying your spot dodging distance dodging and a bunch of other combat related elements again that won't be covered in this video i might do a combat video but i don't think i really need to tell people how to play the game it's kind of self-explanatory but if you're interested in that let me know in the comment section and i'll definitely do a full combat breakdown on godfall and the weapons now speaking of the weapons the devs also did confirm that technically you can't stack two of the same weapon classes now what i mean by that is that when you play the game you'll be able to have two weapons equipped at all times but they can't be of the same weapon classes so you can't have two great swords on at the same time or you can't have two dual blades on at the same time you essentially always have to mix and match now of course it's for probably build reasons but also to kind of not exploit some of the different abilities and augments that you'll get when playing the game because i think that might make it a bit busted with some of the stuff that they were talking about especially when it comes to builds and swap out and especially play attacks so I completely understand why they don't want you to do that but I did want to at least touch base on that in case that got asked in the comment section now before I hop straight into the great sword mechanics I do want to say that I did notice something as well now this isn't anything official this is kind of just what I noticed so take it as a grain of salt but in the footage that we saw it appears that the great sword at least the weapon class seems to break enemy shields especially shield stances extremely easily especially when they're blocking though again like you said you kind of take this as a grain of salt but with some of the attacks that we saw and again just watching the footage in the background it seems like shields really don't stand a chance against the great sword which makes sense for the type of weapon that it is but i just wanted to put a disclaimer because it's not really confirmed that that is something that the great sword does that's just something that i personally took note of when i was going through the gameplay footage so now that we got that mini disclaimer out of the way let's talk about all of the actual great sword attacks you have your charge attacks your ranged attacks your weapon abilities your heavy attacks and attack combos and your light attack and attack combos now your light attack and heavy attack combos are pretty similar to each other it seems to be a slower three hit heavy combo that you do with multiple slashes after the third hit you can either end it with a light attack or end it with a heavy attack now when you end with a light attack you actually stab the enemies which again is another thing that looks to break shields but then when you do a heavy attack when you decide to finish your combos you actually end it with the overhead charge hit now i know for a fact that there are other combinations that you can kind of do when you want to mix up your heavy and light attacks because even in the gameplay trailer we've seen that you can go from straight light attack to heavy attack on a whim like just do one light attack and then boom go straight to heavy attacks so it's not a full-on button masher and there are definitely different combos to be learned for each weapon along with your perfect parries your blocking and your dodges as well so that's actually something pretty interesting to take note of also but now moving on to weapon abilities this is what's pretty unique now the devs have confirmed that all the weapons have some form of a ranged attack and we've definitely seen charged attacks with all of the weapons as well but the great swords ability seems to be tied to both the ranged attack and the charged attack now also there is a normal charge attack which isn't really tied to the weapon ability where you just i'm assuming hold the heavy button and when you release it you do a multi-hit charged attack combo but there's also the charged i guess ability version of that attack as well so if you've been paying attention to the gameplay you might be noticing that there's a couple spin attacks there's some throws and things like that but what's actually more unique about it is that it's tied to a parry or a block ability with the great sword now from what it seems is as you keep attacking enemies with the great sword you kind of build up a charge you'll start to glow red and your sword will start to glow red once that happens you actually can now block or deflect weapons with your great sword which is actually pretty unique and when you do that it seems like you'll be able to switch between two different ranges attacks and a charged attack as well 
So one of the ranged attacks we see is personally my favorite, and you just chunk the great sword across the map and hit multiple enemies, and you recall it, and when it recalls, it also hits enemies that are in the path. Think very like God of War, but it's the funniest thing to see, but it's also pretty damn dope, I'm not gonna lie. And then one of the second ranged attacks that it has is his huge spin attack where he swirls the sword around and damages enemies from around you. Now moving on to its ability charge attack, we do get to see multiple times that you can actually do this out of a sprint once you have I guess enough of that red aura charged up and you do essentially have a huge two handed overhead hit. And again, like most of the other great sword attacks, especially on shields, it definitely seems like a shield breaker. Like I said, a lot of the footage, if you're paying attention to it, the shields just don't stand a chance to the great sword. Now I don't know if the hammer might be the strongest of all the five weapons. Weapons, but of everything we've seen so far, it definitely seems like the greatsword might be, as well as being the slowest of all of the five weapons. Which would make sense from a balancing standpoint, you have to sacrifice some speed for the maximum amount of damage. And then again, with the weapon being as big as it is, being able to deflect attacks from it kind of makes sense that this is what they were trying to go for for this weapon. Be a huge, defensive, brutal tank of a weapon that can block damage, but also deal a lot of damage but you sacrifice some of that speed so I could definitely see this type of weapon being ideal for tanks Valor plates that can build up a bunch of armor bunch of DPS and then using a great sword to amplify that damage yes your attacks might be slower but you don't gotta worry about going down as much if you're on a tankier frame to use this tankier weapon and also one final thing I did want to touch on as well even though it's not necessarily tied to the great sword mechanics is in this gameplay footage at least you really don't see the character just standing in one place for too long they're always on their feet always moving so I'm actually kind of excited to get to mess around with that I'm always the type of running gun player in a game I don't like trying to stay back or play defensive so it's a bit unique to see a gameplay style especially in the looter genre especially like a looter shooter where it's all about playing a bit more defensive hiding back with guns dealing damage from afar whereas godfall you kind of have to get up close to deal damage and always stay on your toes so personally i like that gameplay style and i think it's going to be real unique and kind of mix it up a bit but like i've been saying for these past few videos i still want to see so much more content for this game so come on counterplay games come on gearbox publishing come on godfall as a whole give us some more footage because you know we need it and we want to see it but i'm going to end it right there so thank you all for watching like always let me know what you personally think about the great swords and if this might be one of your main weapons in the game i'm actually kind of liking all the things you get to do with it yeah it's a bit slow and though those aren't my typical type of weapons i use the amount of damage and some of the versatility with the different abilities i think might make this a pretty fun weapon to use especially just being able to kratos chuck a huge sword across the map and recall it to you is just like the greatest thing to see on screen so let me know in the comment section if you're actually going to be picking up the great sword to be one of your main types of weapons in your arsenal when you decide to play the game thank you all for watching like always i will catch you all in the next one links to all my social media accounts are in the video description if you liked the video give it a like if you didn't don't thanks for the love thanks for the subs peace